in here. Yeah, this is a dirty interior that hasn't seen anyone vacuum it or clean it for a year and a half. <laughs> yeah, dude, it looks like farm animals living inside here, but this wasn't you. You just pretty much just didn't add to the mess, right? I, well, I did a little bit on the other <laughs> side, but, but not much. <laughs> Yeah, I'm looking at this, so straight off the bat, right? So like, the dash. Disgusting. What is going in is lifting and separating. Yeah, definitely got um, hot. Okay, so that's happening. We can't fix that. But in terms of the dust and all of that up top there, yeah, that's, uh, yeah, that's gonna be wiped down for sure. Yeah. And then this whole center console area is uh, sticky. Yeah. I'm not a sticky person, I don't like sticky things. It looks like someone exploded a soda in here because yeah. the whole, you know, the whole top is covered. Everything's just got soda cake down it. I mean, yeah. Uh, now in terms of these seat covers, are you in love with these things? Because uh, I think they gotta go. No, they're not uh, near and dear to my heart or anything <laughs> like that. Yeah. Okay. All right, and then there's also a matching steering wheel cover. This looks like a Spider-Man themed uh, interior. <laughs> This looks uh, like a mesh something, something on here. Yeah. Let's see the steering wheel part. Yeah, there was just a puff of dust that lifted from there. That's yeah. Sick. Okay, let's jump in the car. Let's sit down, kind of get a better look at the dash, what needs to be done, uh, and kind of go from there. Sure. All right, so getting set up inside the Eclipse here. Um, yeah, steering wheel cover, I'm not a big... That's going to have to go. I'm not a fan at all. There is literally, you see how much dust is coming yeah. from that? Yeah, and we've been doing this for a week and a half, <laughs> showing off the dust. <laughs> That's pretty uh, pretty yeah. sick. So um, other than that, though, we have, uh, like you said, like some type of uh, soda spill or some type of explosion around here. It's all down the sides of all this plastic. Plus a uh, baked on console. milkshake or something that exploded in here and baked on. <laughs> Sick. Okay. Yeah. Um, the plastics are pretty much just getting wiped down. We do have the BLB brush that we can kind of go over everything if there's anything deeper that we really need to work out. Sure. Um, I do want to look at this headliner here because that soda explosion looks like it got up to the top here. Yeah, overall the roof doesn't look too bad. Like Spot compared clean. to the Honda Accord that we did last time, I'd say it looks a lot nicer. It just needs a few touch-ups. So there's a back seat back here. I don't know if you guys knew that. These Eclipse came with back seats. I don't know what you would put back there. I, I don't use it. I fold it down and make some extra trunk space, but they are dirty as well. They yeah. look like they've been caked on. Probably about this much dirt as well. Oh so. my gosh, he's still doing that. He's breathing <laughs> yeah. that in. All right, Tim, so these door panels here, so we're actually in pretty good shape, surprisingly. They're I mean, not bad. They're not bad. So uh, a little bit of dirt down here on the speaker cover, if you guys can kind of see that. Yeah, I'm going to admit that was definitely me. The rest of it wasn't, but that was me. All right, not a big deal. We got some brushes that can take care of that. This door jam actually looks good compared to what's on the trunk. You're probably gonna hate what you see back there. Let's, let's go check it out. You ready? I don't know. I, I don't know if I have. Okay. Oh, wow. Yeah. Holy crap, Tim. We're gonna have to like excavate this. This is um, this is pretty bad. I've, I've seen some pretty bad jams in my yeah. life. This is definitely up there. Levi says this is uh, just a normal dirty car to him. He's dealt with plenty of this. Uh, me, not so much, at least not to this level of dirt. We have leaves, we have pine needles, we have uh, what, bugs? Is that another spider's nest? Yeah. We got a spider's nest right here. It looks like we're just waiting for him to come back. Okay. I, I like the spiders. They help protect from the other bugs, so that's just me. Okay, well, uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right, so... Um, for the actual interior of the back here, like you said before, these back seats don't really get used. They are dirty. We'll probably go over those the best we can. Maybe, maybe have Morgan crawl back in here. She doesn't know yet. All right, anyways, so we're going to have to vacuum this out. I think it gives us a pretty good idea of the interior. I would say I'm excited. Uh, I'm not, but I think it's going to turn out awesome. So awesome. we have that going <laughs> for us, which is nice. Yeah. Uh, so all right, guys, that is the interior.
right guys, so I guess it's my turn to go over the interior of this Mitsubishi Eclipse behind me. This thing was definitely hammered. Tons of dirt, tons of dust, and even some spider webs here and there. Now, I know Tim's back at his desk and he's working hard after going over the exterior with Levi, but I think I'm gonna pull him back in for this video. Oh my gosh, it works. I just got it's amazing. It literally never fails. I mean, I don't, I mean, can I clap him away? Amazing. It's literally, I don't know how they're doing this. This is just amazing. Uh, but we actually have to bring him back for this. So I was going to bring him back. Dude. Sorry. I know I'm going back and forth there, but it's just, it's just too much fun. So we need to go over the interior of this Eclipse here, right? You haven't seen it yet. I know you've seen the exterior. What do you think of the exterior? Did it looks we do? great. I went over it with Levi. It looks way better than it did. Cool, man. Thanks. I appreciate it. And I'm hoping the interior you're going to like even more, especially since we got rid of all those seat covers and that, uh, steering wheel cover, whatever that was okay. covered in. Let's just say I didn't want to take a black light to the car. All right, so let's go ahead and check this thing out. Wow, it's like a new car. <laughs> I'm just kidding. That's just, that's everybody's reaction when they see an interior clean, right? So what do you think? What's your first impression? It looks awesome. I really like not having the seat covers on here. Oh God, me too. No, me too. Like those seat covers, um, those, those had to go. Those, those not a good thing. But no, the seats are actually really cool OEM seats. I actually really like them. They're kind of very sporty, a lot of big, uh, big bolstering here on the side. We actually tackled the carpets first. And so the carpets and the fabric uh, started the rear and kind of began to work our way forward. And so what we ended up doing for this was using a drill brush. Uh, we didn't really have any major hiccups, really. I'd say the hardest part of the whole interior is probably cleaning the windows. Reaching down into this front area right here, uh, uh, kind of a pain, but other than that though, it cleaned up extremely well. We got all the food and the ice cream out of this center console too. That so there was ice cream and there was like some melted milk and chocolate. That was kind of weird. Um, like I said, you know, never know what you're gonna find, but that wasn't from you. Um, we're gonna assume that oh, it was all from the previous owner. Uh, but other than that, I think this is so much cleaner. It smells a ton better. I think the Terminator really helped with any residual smells that you kind of had floating around in the car and it kind of killed those off. Now really quick for the back hatch, I went the back. Oh, this thing's just heavy. All right. For the back hatch, just want to kind of go over and show you guys what this thing looks like now. Uh, as you remember before, this was all dusty, all dirty. Wow. The jams were completely caked oh. and filled with dirt and we've cleaned out all of those. And so um, the interior does look so much better. Do you know that you have a ground wire for a subwoofer in here? Yes, I did. Just yes, saying, did. so if you wanna throw coming a subwoofer. Soon. Yeah, coming soon, right? Yeah, throw some bump in the trunk. Um, but other than that though, this just turned out great. I think that black carpet was really easy to work with. I think black carpet is extremely forgiving when it comes to any type of stains or anything like that. Uh, but really these jams are what cleaned up a ton. No and uh, we this were- This is a black jam here. And yeah, this is like <laughs> it's, yeah, it's, it's it a- brown before. I, uh, I assumed it was just brown, but yeah, we are able to turn it back to black and it looks absolutely awesome. So yeah, man, that pretty much wraps up the whole interior of the car. I'm glad you, uh, glad you like it. Other than that though, feels like a new car, looks like a new car, and we really, really like it. So I think we're gonna pull in Levi for our outro and we'll go from there. Oh my God, Nate, I am, were you driving? Okay, get out of here. Wow, I really hope that uh, Nate's okay. Uh, you weren't here for that, so there was, a, uh, it's fine, it's fine. Well, All right, so anyways, guys, you were, yeah, that's exactly what we're doing. So if you guys like this video and you guys like this series and like seeing the interior get cleaned up, make sure you give us a big like, subscribe down below, and as always, stay tuned for more videos right here at the Rag Company YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.